二零一七年的下半年，我当时在美国听到啊，我们三联种植园第一次打靶成功，产生了种子，我心情也是很高兴，也很激动。位于广东东莞的中国散裂种子园首次打靶成功。Well, the reason I decided to work here in Dongguan is for the China Splashy Neutron Source. There are only four of those in the world. The Spallation Neutron Source, SNS, is like a super microscope. The neutron beams it produces can provide a clear view of the inside of materials. It is an important facility for scientific research and has attracted many scientists. Matthew Musgrave, who worked on his postdoctoral research at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, came to Dongguan a year ago. My expertise is polarizing neutrons and working at spallation neutron sources. However, there are only four of those in the world. When Tony hired me, he convinced me to come because he was very supportive of the research I want to do to advance the science at the China Spallation Neutron Source, and he offered me the um, the manpower, the lab space, and the funding I needed to do this. So it was um, a great opportunity for me. Tong Xin, the group head of Matthew's project, had worked with Matthew at Oak Ridge National Laboratory for years. In 2021, at the invitation of Tong, Matthew came here for research. So Matthew is using the torch to heat up the alkali metal, which is uh, rubidium and potassium. He's heating up the glass such that the, uh, the alkali metal becomes vapor. So as he's heating up the, uh, the rubidium uh, vapor, there's some residual gas that is buried inside the ampule, which we can see from the mass spectrometer. We can see the oxygen, nitrogen, and water. Okay, you can let go. Yeah, but you see question. how this icing on it? So the next step is we're going to take the cell to the laser lab and shine laser from both sides to polarize the rubidium inside. And after the helium-3 is polarized, we can take the cell to the neutron beam and get the neutrons polarized. The molten alkali metal and blown glass cell is used for magnetic testing of materials with neutrons. All of his research is going well. But Matthew knows that in 2018, when Tong Xin moved here with his family, the whole project was still in its infancy. Because 那其他的成员都是我呃后来呃招过来的。那其实，在过去接近四年的一个这个历程中，我们也是有很多的一个突破。那尤其在极化中子的这个设备相关的呃一些研究上，我们呃也是做到了我们国家的最好的水平，也做到了国际一流的水平。这是我们国家第一台在高能区。非弹性中子散射谱仪，要把这个掉进去做准子吗？呃，这是第一个由我负责的谱仪，很多时候需要做一些很重要的决定，因为这个决定就这个影响了整个谱仪未来发展的一个方向和它所能够测量的一些东西，所以这个压力还是比较大，因为投资金额比较大，它可以用来测量凝聚态物理里面。高温超导、热电材料、新型的量子凝聚态的材料。那这个 X 光要它要聚焦吗？这个打开，这么多。So when I first worked with Tan Chin, he was a new scientist who just recently got his PhD. But then several years had gone by since we first met, so I'd learned a lot. 你测的是反射的吗？还是？还是颜色。He's a very good manager, and he's very trusting in like the competence of his employees. 那我们散裂中子源呢？它是一个很好的检测平台，可以说是对我们国家很多重要的，不仅仅是材料学领域。
还有很多其他交叉学科领域，都填补了一个很好的一个空白。That's hard to answer because it's still being constructed, and I'm more of a specialist in uh, polarizing neutrons. So I can say that hopefully we will eventually have some of the best like polarization technology. Besides the busy work, Matthew also joins his colleague Tony to travel around Dongguan. The first impression I got was how friendly all my colleagues were. And they were willing to uh, introduce the culture and like uh, show me around. In fact, I was invited to so many <laughs> dinners and uh, they showed me like all the Chinese food in the area. Uh, so every weekend, so that was a lot of fun. There we go. Whoa. Wow. You good? Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, the environment is very beautiful. It's obvious that a lot of effort was put into making the area very appealing for scientists so that they would come and enjoy working at the CSNS. So I think Dongguan is a great place to live. The city is very fun. 